keep going. What I'm doing here is gluing up spindles. Okay, for making candle holders. Two matching pieces made from exactly the same piece of wood. Different that way when I glue them together face to face or back to back, the uh, the green pattern will come out symmetrical on the piece. Okay, and it'll look nice. I kind of glue these up. These are just two by fours. And I'm going to be making two sets of candle holders. These are both for prototypes that I have in mind. And double checking the grain on this, making sure. One thing I do here is I try to make sure that my my uh, grain, my pieces cup this way a little bit because wood will warp where there's the, the gap in the middle but not on the edges. That way when I clamp it together, it holds. Otherwise, if I clamp it the other way around and the humidity changes, it can open up a crack on the edges yeah, in the lamination. Yeah. And it doesn't look as good. It's not as good a quality. Same piece of wood. I'm going to be using regular carpenter's glue here to glue these together. <clears throat> this is not the ideal container for spreading this. This is an old ketchup container. You want them to, you want the glue to spread between the two pieces. And you want the ends to line up because otherwise I gotta trim them, otherwise they're not gonna sit well on the way. I'm just doing two today. I can do as many as I can the length of the entire clamping surface. But I don't want to spend too much time doing that today. I'm just preparing two. Snug these up. A little stuck. rusty. A bit stuck. Yeah, it's a bit stuck. Get to go. And realign them. Make sure that they're right. Because if they're wrong, it's all material I'm going to lose off of my uh, finished work. Way. For third camp, clamp on the other side. That way the clamping is even. We're pretty close. And I put them hand tight. That will give enough pressure for the glue to spread well and to clear and voids. Nice strong joint. That's about as tight as I can put them. I'll wipe off some of the excess glue here. And that will be two spindle blocks. When I'm done, make two two sets of candle holders. And I hope to sell those on eBay. And that's it. That's all there is to doing it.